Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be doing a really quick layout for my Use It Up journal and it's called Create From Chaos. So this is a page I've got in my clean up journal which was used for swatches. I've, you can see I've been tr checking out my brush lettering, having a go with doing that. I've put paint that I've had left over on my page and I'm sure if you've been watching some of my previous videos you've actually seen this page where I've been doing stuff on it. So I, this was just one day I was sitting there and I had some stuff sitting around I thought I'd go and use it up. Um, the paper that I'm going down at the moment was from my latest video with the woman with the pink hair so it's some collage paper that I um, made up and I'm just gluing that down into the page and making sure all the scraps are going down. I don't mind that stuff is peeking through from the background because it's going to add interest to it. And I really don't have an idea of what I'm doing with this page. It's just that I'd finished colouring it with acrylic paints and I thought, okay, I could maybe do something with this now. So putting the collage paper over the top kind of hides some of that um, brush lettering that was coming through. Uh, but Apart from the fact I just really liked the, the paper and I didn't want to waste it so I wanted to put it into my journal somewhere. Uh, I love that combination of the red stent, red letter stenciling with a little bit of pink in it. And something about the paper that I used perhaps, it just really melted away so you could just see the stenciling and you didn't really see any of the paper in the background which I absolutely adore. As you know, again if you've watched lots of my videos, one of my pet peeves with um, gluing down collage, tissue collage papers is getting that sort of white haze around it. So if I can get rid of that in any way, shape or form I'm really really happy. So you can see that this uh, video is at a l much slower speed than it usually is because it really is a very quick page to put together. It took me about 16 minutes, so it's only at half speed this video. So I'm just putting in some stenciling because I can't help myself. So I had the open space with the orange in the middle, so I decided to add some blue over the top. Again, picking up some of the colours on the page, but just because I like the contrast of orange and blue, good opposite colours on the colour wheel. And as you know, this is one of my favourite stencils. So this is the Medieval Cross from Dina Wakeley. And when I've done that, I thought, oh, okay, I'll add some lime green in, because why not? So again, going in, and you can see I'm not cleaning off my stencil, and I'm not actually cleaning off my sponge either, because I'm putting on such a bare minimum of paint, and I've made sure that all the pigments out of the paint, it doesn't really matter. This sponge is sort of a the end of its life anyway. It started to get dried and hard so I knew after I'd finished sponging this on it was probably going to go in the bin anyway so I wasn't too concerned about mixing the paint colours up. Apart from the fact that this is basically what this page is all about is you know just mixed up, used up what you've got. So that's why I've called it creating out of chaos because it really is kind of chaotic but it all comes together in the end and it's probably one of my favourite pages. For a page that in my journal was just, I didn't even think about what I was doing on it. it, was everything was just dumped on it, it just sort of really worked. So this is how those pages begin, when I've got used paint left on my page I just turn to another page and dump it in there. You can see the page that I turned to had texture paste on one side and some leftover paint pasted over the top. So that's another page that hopefully in the future something magic will appear out of it. So as I was doing this, I was going through my washi tape too, and I thought, oh, this needs a little bit of gold. Again, because I'd just done the lady with the pink hair, which is another video on my channel, and one of the things about that video was the combination of uh, light blue, pink, and gold, and I really loved that combination. So I sort of had that in the back of my head, and I figured that this page could do with a little pop of gold on it. One of my favourite things to do with washi tape is not actually to put it down in one piece but to tear it up into little strips so I've got those torn edges. I'm not a fan of straight edges. Uh, I, I like having a torn edge. I think it just looks a little bit more organic uh, when you put it down and it also means you get a lot more out of your washi tape. 
which you really don't need to do because there's so much on the roll. I think I've only ever used up one roll of washi, uh, but I, I like the effect of having those torn strips or stripes down your page. So this is pretty much the end page and I actually really loved it the way it was and I probably could have left it like that but I decided that I wanted to put another stencil over the top. And the stencil I chose is a Donna Downey stencil which is a face with some script in it. It's probably going to take me a little while to find it as I go through. Um, but the thing that I was thinking about when I was drying this off and thinking about what stencil I was going to use is what was I going to stencil it with. I wasn't 100% sold on stenciling it with pure black because I thought that would be too dark on the page and take away from what I had. So I settled on using some ink to um, stencil through. Now the reason I chose the ink was while it's still black it doesn't go on as opaque as just using acrylic paint and it meant I could fade it out because this stencil doesn't actually fit over the entire page and if I use acrylic paint I would end up with quite a harsh end line of where the paint was so I wanted to sort of use ink that I could blend out so you'd still get that color on the the side where the um, stencil runs out so I'm just using my permanent ink which is my Versafine and just rubbing it on fairly gently. Now you do need to be careful when you're stenciling on ink and um, particularly if you're rubbing on the way I do you should really pounce it up and down but I wanted to sort of blend it into the page so just make sure that you hold your stencil really firmly on the page that it isn't going to move around. So when I got over to this side you can sort of see me twirling it around a bit trying to get all that excess ink off and blend it in and you can see I don't have a harsh, head on, harsh edge on that um, right hand side. The other thing I did was because the stencil didn't extend completely to the top and bottom it was just extended out with the ink just to make it look like it's supposed to be there. So again you can see with the ink you can still see through it. it's got a level of transparency to it. So you've got those colours peeping through but you've also got that strong image coming through too. And I really loved it because it sort of toned back the chaos somewhat. You could still see it, you could still enjoy it, but it just gave a bit more focus to the page. So while I was sort of considering what I was going to do with this, I got my snarky Tim Holtz stickers and there was a great quote that I found about, um, I think, I can't remember what it was, something about a head and what comes out of your mouth. Let's see if I can remember it. I've got a good head, is it? Yes, I've got a good heart. Sorry, I've got a good heart, but this mouth. So yes, this sort of represented what was going on in my, my head or my heart and what was coming out of my head. So it's sort of like the, the chalk and cheese effect. So this is a close up of the pages. I really enjoyed doing this. I love having my clean up journal. It was one of the, my best investments just to have a small dilutions journal that I can put all my extra paint and stencils and bits and pieces in and then come up with pages like this from the leftovers. Let me know if you've got your own clean up journal as well and what you do with it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.